While internal components and features may vary by brand and model, the installation instructions covered are applicable for the Maytag dishwasher models listed. Model number may be found on the appliance's outer carton as well as on the interior left side of the tub. Warning! Electrical shock hazard. Disconnect power before servicing. Replace all parts and panels before operating. Failure to do so can result in death or electrical shock. Excessive weight hazard. Use two or more people to move and install dishwasher. Failure to do so can result in back or other injury. My name is Phil Alley. I'm the product service manager for Whirlpool for the dish category. And today we're going to cover the new installation of a new model line we've got out uh, that's going to launch in February of 2020. It's a new design dishwasher from the ground up. So there are some installation differences from what you used to in the past. Uh, we're gonna cover a KDPM 804 model today. We always recommend a new water supply line when you're ever installing a dishwasher. And there's two parts to a water supply line. One is if you buy the water supply line kit, it comes with the 90 degree elbow. If you do not replace the water supply line, you'll still need to purchase a elbow fitting for the water supply that will connect to your existing water supply line. So you're going to take your brass 3 8 3 quarter inch fitting. You want to start it by hand onto the fill valve. Tighten it as tight as you can get it by hand. If it doesn't screw on really easily, you might be cross-threading it. You want to take it off and start over. Once you get it as tight as you can with your hand, take a pair of pliers. And all you need to give it is a quarter to a half turn facing back. And again, route it out the rear along with your drain hose and your water supply line. So once you get it stood up and get ready to slide it in, you're going to route utilities kind of like an umbilical cord out the back. And you're going to route them through the bottom, rear, or right side, depending on where the sink is. And you've got the drain hose, the water supply, and the electrical. Now the hole that's required is only one and a half inches. And a lot of guys ask me, how do you get all this through a one and a half inch hole? You put the plug in first. And then you do the water supply. And lastly, you do your drain hose because you can squish it down to fit through the remainder of the hole. 